So did you get your start in real estate investing in tax defaulted pro property? Yep. Yep. Exactly. So that's where you started. That's where you started. That's where you stayed. So let's mm -hmm. make sure everybody understands what's the difference between a tax deed and a tax lien. Great question. Um, there are also some form of tax default properties. Essentially, a property goes, a uh, property owner goes delinquent on their property taxes, and uh, it can be any type of land. Uh, some areas, some states will take the lien against the property and sell it, where investors like you and I can step in and purchase it and for a period of time called a redemption period. And once we've purchased that, after that time frame passes, usually what will happen is the property owner will pay the whatever is due plus interest penalties and fees. And that's where we make our initial return, our yield, right? Depending on what the percentages in each area. When you're buying a deed, you're actually buying the deed to the property. So really this is also comes down to what type of investor are you and everybody's different. Some people are looking for a high yield rate of return, like a hedge fund. Some people are looking to acquire properties. Um, if you have some capital, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars, and I know you're an expert in helping people get money, which is what you do. Um, and you're looking to acquire properties, deed investing is the way for you to go to acquire properties, have immediate ownership. Each state is a little different in terms of, do you really own the properties of free and clear or are there more steps? And each area can be different in whether you have the property completely free and clear or if you still have to go through quiet title action. So basic idea is tax liens, you're gonna get your money back plus interest with a slight chance for a property. Tax deed, you're actually buying the deed to the property to take ownership of the property.